Hello everyone and welcome back. So, a big confusion is how to write the cause of death while making death certificate. So, it is the frequently asked question and very commonly ismein errors hoti hain bahut sari uh, while writing the cause of death. So, what is death certificate first of all jab death certificate bharte hain so what is death certificate it is a basically legal document obviously death certificate is a legal document with implications its implications and uses may vary from country to country so its uses and implications may vary from country to country so first of all it is a legal document now the different implications and uses can be like for the purpose of inquest like in case of inquiry or investigation into the cause of death so death certificate is required for connection of post mortem uh, and uh, the uh, giving cause of death and up for other details now for the purpose of uh burial as well as cremation that certificate is required for the purpose of research research purpose etc so these are the basic uses and implications of death certificate and it is basically um, the these uses or implications may vary from country to country now remember death certificate is a confidential document it is very confidential it is confidential document but ideally doctor should not dis, uh, disclose all the details but if these details are legally required then doctor can disclose or doctor can disclose with consent of next to kin so these are the situations in which doctor can disclose uh, the details in mentioned in the death certificate now this information of death certificates is very critically important these informations are critically important basically for the purpose of legal as we have just discussed that this is a legal document and as well as statistical statistical point of view so these informations are very much needed for the legal as well as statistical point of view now the basic identification data are very much important they should be mentioned on uh, the death certificate like the date and place of death and the full name full name age of the deceased uh, sex of the disease the residence of disease and profession of disease or occupation occupation of disease so these are the few identification general identification details that should be mentioned on the certificate now what are the general guidelines the general guidelines for issuing a death certificate are general guidelines are as follow like the first of all one should the doctor should verify the general informations so verification should be done all the uh, regarding all the general informations and their spelling should be correct and the like the name of the diseased and the their their family members uh, should be clearly mentioned there should not be any use of abbreviations so abbreviations uh, should not be used and verification and correct spelling uh, of the name of the disease, diseased as well as the family members 
and there should not be any alteration alteration if you need to change anything you have written uh, wrong then simply uh, draw a single line simply draw a single line and there should not be any use of correction fluid correction fluid is not uh, indicated so these are the basic general guidelines uh, uh, while writing the death certificate. Now the death certificate is basically uh, a legal document and uh, for standardization the international international forum of medical certificates. certificates of cause of death it's basically this is recommended by world health organization to certify the cause of death in all countries so basically death certificate is divided into three sections there are three sections part one Uh, the report sequence report sequence or the chain of event chain of events chain of events now the second is the contributory cause contributory causes the cause other significant conditions which are contributing uh, to the cause of death now the third column is the approximate interval interval between the condition and the death the onset of condition and the death what is the duration of interval between the two it is uh, the time interval that should be mentioned now in the death certificate itself uh, it has been mentioned like uh, part one which is the first is the chain of event the chain of event that is leading to death the chain of event leading to death and various other contributory cause of death now the disease or the other condition basically in uh, different different lines in part 1 like line a line b line c line d so in line a the disease or any any condition that is directly leading to death so in the chain of event the disease or the condition that is directly leading to death it should be mentioned and the time interval between the onset and the death should be mentioned over there now the chain of order the chain of event should be mentioned in b and c column if there is some underlying cause some underlying cause is there then it should be mentioned in in uh, the next columns this is part one which is having a b c and d columns and so on now another part is part 2 which is having other significant condition other significant conditions which are contributing to death so other significant conditions which are contributing to death are mentioned in part 2 of the uh, death certificate so it is very important to write all the uh, the leading cause of death and the further chain of events and then the contributory cause of death now the uh, various important points like there should not be any blank line so never leave any blank line within the sequence so within the 
sequence there should not be any blank line if there is only one cause of death like the cause of death which is directly leading to death there is only single cause of death then only enter that in 1a now the interval are usually the interval between the onset as well as death are usually established by the doctor on the basis of available informations the time is basically on the basis of whatever the available information is there that is uh, decided by the doctor on duty and if in case the time interval is not known then or cannot be determined then you can simply write unknown so the time if if it is cannot be determined or not known then you can simply write unknown okay so guys this is the perform of medical certificate of cause, uh, cause of death and this is basically the form number uh, 4 and it should be uh, sent to registrar along with form number 2 now as you can see like we have discussed the part 1 and part 2 of the certificate which has mentioned the cause of death and part 1 is having immediate cause that is in the column number A now any antecedent do, uh, antecedent cause related to the chain of event in B and any other significant contributory cause in C that is the part 2 now the interval between the onset and disease that is approximate if it is not known then you can simply write unknown okay now the manner of death can be given in different uh, cases depending on the, the history as well as examination findings now this is another form that is for 4a that is for the non institutional death so the previous one was for the inpatient hospital inpatient hospital inpatient deaths and this is for the the non institutional death and it 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 should not be used for stillbirth so this is also the uh, similar uh, perform for the cause of death except few for a few findings uh, which are uh, different in both performers like the manner of death is not given and uh, this these uh, two three lines are extra suppose a 50 year years female presented to emergency with bleeding esophageal varices bleeding esophageal varices and that female died due to excessive bleeding now how to write, write cause of death so excessive bleeding is due to as a result of portal hypertension and why this portal hypertension is occurring because of liver cirrhosis so liver is cirrhotic so because of liver cirrhosis this portal por portal hypertension is occurring and that is causing bleeding esophageal varices and why this liver cirrhosis because of chronic hepatitis b infection so this hepatitis b infection is responsible for chronic liver cirrhosis and this uh, portal hypertension and bleeding esophageal varices so this is the most directly uh, cause directly linked cause of death in the chain of event that is the bleeding esophageal varices that should be mentioned in column number 1a now the portal hypertension is related to next uh, to the chain of event that is 1b and liver cirrhosis is 1c in the chain of event now this is the factor that is underlying cause of death this is the underlying cause of death underlying cause that is hepatitis b infection so this is the way of writing the different uh, uh, cause of deaths in the performer now one more example for example the patient is a, a 60 year old male who died of cerebral hemorrhage cerebral hemorrhage okay the person is a known case of chronic hypertension so chronic hypertension this hypertension the uh, uh, the very severe form of hypertension leading to cerebral hemorrhage is uh, why because of chronic pyelonephritis the patient was suffering from chronic pyelonephritis chronic pyelonephritis and why this pyelonephritis is occurring because of benign prostatic hypertrophy the prostate of that patient is enlarged and that is leading to chronic pyelonephritis and chronic hypertension and cerebral hemorrhage and death now this bph is basically linked to diabetes mellitus type 2 
because the the patient who was suffering from diabetes since last uh, for, 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 for last 10 years okay so this is the diabetes this is contributory cause this is contributory cause of death so this is mentioned in contributory cause and the, in the chain of event the first one 1a 1b 1c this is chronic pyelonephritis and 1d is bph and contributory cause is diabetes mellitus type 2 and this is uh, this can also be considered as uh, the underlying cause of death so this is the performa this is the way of writing cause of death in different cases so thank you so much and keep on watching stay tuned thank you